Step 1, Introduction. Welcome to your BrainHost Personal Web Builder tutorial. Our Personal Web Builder is an easy to use, step-by-step -step program that will help you get your website set up in minutes. With our Personal Web Builder, you don't need any experience or technical skills to create a good looking site quickly and easily. And the steps that follow will teach you how to use the Personal Web Builder to create and update your website. In order to get started, you'll need to log in to the Personal Web Builder right here. You receive your Personal Web Builder login information and the welcome email you received from BrainHost. If you've misplaced your login info, you can contact customer support by calling 1-800-311-9418 or emailing support at brainhost.com. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken to the Personal Web Builder main menu, and here's what it looks like. Now at the very top up here, you'll find your account settings, help and support, and the logout option. If you go ahead and click on account settings here, you'll be signed into your BrainHost account where you can manage your web host account and billing information. Let's go ahead and close out of there. Now if you go ahead and click on help and support right here, you'll be taken to the support page of BrainHost.com where you can submit a help ticket and access the knowledge base, all right here. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Now if you go ahead and click on log out, this will log you out of the personal web builder. Now under these options, there's a button right here that says cPanel for advanced users. Now if you go ahead and click on that, now it's going to give you an option to get started here for new users. We're going to go ahead and click out of that for now. Now this is the classic cPanel view here. You can close the classic cPanel view and return to the personal web builder at any time by closing this up here. And we'll talk more about using the cPanel in step 8. Now in the middle of the page, you'll see four icons here. The first one is build slash edit your website. The second one is setup slash check your email. The third one is view slash get traffic. And the fourth one is add features. Now each of these sections of the personal web builder have their own tutorials. So we'll go over each one briefly here. Let's go ahead and start with build slash edit website. Now when you click on this option, you'll be given three options to choose from for building your website. The website builder, the page editor, and the change template button. Let's start by going over the Website Builder button right here. Now this will walk you through step by step through each section of your website. The Page Editor will allow you to choose which page of your website that you want to work on and then make your changes right there on the page. The Change Template button will allow you to choose a new template or theme for your site. This is how you can change your site's color scheme and design as well. Now you can choose any of these options to build your website. Once your website is built, you can use any of these options to make changes and updates as well. You can use either the Website Builder or the Page Editor to make changes to your website at any time. And you can choose a new template at any time as well. Now we'll talk more about the Website Builder option in Step 2. We'll talk more about the Page Editor option in Step 3. And we'll talk more about the Change Template in Step 4. Now let's go ahead and look at Setup slash Check Email. This option will allow you to create email accounts for your website. For example, your name at yourwebsite.com. With BrainHost, you can create unlimited email accounts for your domain. You can also check your email here as well. We'll talk more about setup slash check email in step 5. Let's go ahead and talk about view slash get traffic. This option will allow you to see how much traffic you've gotten for the month that you specify. There is also a button you can click on to purchase upgrades that will increase your traffic. We'll talk more about view slash get traffic in step 6. Let's go ahead and talk about add features. This option will take you to a marketplace page where you can purchase account upgrades and additional services. Whether or not you choose to purchase any of these is completely optional, not required. We'll talk more about add features in step seven. Now that you have a basic idea of what's included in the personal web builder, proceed to step two, where we'll talk about using the website builder option to build and update your website.